Welcome back guys, this is Benito again and this is tutorial number 12. In this tutorial I'll teach you how to use a callback, a single callback for multiple different components in App Designer. So let's go ahead and open up App Designer and to demonstrate this uh, example I'll use a graph. So we'll drag and drop a axis, make this slightly bigger, drop a button and we'll double click and change the name to plot so when the user clicks on plot this button it should plot the graph for us we'll also drop in a numeric edit field and rename this to m and the graph which we'll be plotting will be a simple one which will be y equals mx so the m is um, put into this edit field by the user and then when they click on the plot they should be able to see the graph so we don't want to just we don't want to click on the plot to uh, plot the graph all the time. We just want the user to you know type in a number in this edit field and just click enter to plot the graph, um, just to save them from clicking on plot all the time. So this is where you have to add multiple callbacks. But instead of adding multiple callbacks, so you can add a callback on this edit field, and then you'll have to add a callback for this. Um, button but instead of adding a callback to individual components we can write everything that we want the program to do in in this in one particular callback so it can be a callback in the button uh, or it can be in this particular edit field callback so I'll just demonstrate um, just using one callback and show you how this app works so we'll right click on this and add a callback so we'll say X equals one steps of one all the way up to 100 and y and we'll say m equals app dot whatever the values inside this edit field so m edit field dot value should be a semicolon and then y equals m times x and then we want to plot the graph so use the plot function and we have to say where you want to plot the graph so we want to plot in the UI axis so we'll say app dot UI axis dot and then comma then we want to plot Y so we'll close it off and semicolon so let's try and run this we'll run this and we will change this to 2 for example and click on plot so you can see that it clicked uh, we clicked on the plot button and it plotted the graph but let's say if I change this to 3 or 4 and click enter but nothing happens so to make the make the graph plot again we should add a callback to this edit field but we don't want to add callbacks to all the different components we just want to continue writing the code here so what we can then do is there's a very simple inbuilt um, uh, method that MATLAB has created for us to simply um, you know use the same callback for different components and all you have to do is click on the edit field and then go over to the component browser right click on it and then click callbacks again and then we'll say select existing callback so this means we can use an existing callback and here you can see um, the actual callback function if we were to add one would be value changed function um, but this time um, we'll instead of using this we'll, we'll use the plot button pushed which is an existing one so if we go back you can see this is the callback function which is which is what we what we have defined on the button so we'll be we'll be defining the code we've defined the code in here and the same event will happen or the same result will happen uh, if we click enter uh, after in inputting a number in this edit field so all you had to do was I think you can do it this way as well callbacks and then select existing because we've selected one it's grayed out now so we can run this now and see if it works okay so we'll change this to let's say 5 and then click enter and there you go it plotted 
So let's just change this to two and click on plot and this works too. So now you've given the user two different ways uh, to plot the graph. Instead of clicking on the plot, but plot, plot button all the time, you can just simply type in the number and click enter to plot the graph. So this is how you use one callback for different components and make the life of the user a little bit easier. So thank you for listening guys. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to add more variables, more input variables into a function and how we can use it in different places in the app. See you next time.